What's up everyone, this is Bobby Techno from Bobby's Tech World and today we are going to revive our Nexus 5X. And as you can see, my phone is doing the same exact thing, it's just a continuous boot loop. No matter what ROM you had on there, or how it worked, whatever it was, it's just some sort of a hardware issue. And we're going to fix that today with a, a couple simple um, uploads, some flashing to the device. We're not going to use any kind of heat or freeze or anything like that, any kind of remedy to try to get that working correctly. We're just going to go ahead and if you look here on the XDA form, I'll have the link down below. You will see that there is a uh, boot loop death fix. All right, and we're going to go through this. It's pretty simple. If you've dealt with your phone at all on anything special, then um, this shouldn't be too bad because if you come, scroll on down here and look, Requirements, brain, a computer, and a boot looping, boot looping 5X. All right, you really, really, let me, I'm gonna highlight that for you. Need to have an unlocked bootloader and OEM unlocking enabled. If you don't, you're gonna have to try some special remedies, which is also here in the content, to try to get your phone to even to just boot to where it needs to be so you can unlock that OEM unlocking and then get your bootloader unlocked alright because that's going to be a difficult subject so get that unlocked if you can if it already is unlocked then um, you should see like a little uh, unlocking like a lock there at the bottom of your screen on your phone the other thing is you definitely need to have is your drivers installed on your computer uh, for your phone so your computer can communicate through ADB which is the Android debugging bridge and with that type of connection between your computer and your phone you will come down this is this link to XDA developers excuse me that's going to be there and also I will attach a link for the developers.google where, where you have your images that you can flash to your phone as you scroll down it'll ask you here using ADB tool all right, you're going to have to read this stuff and learn up about that. You should have that installed probably if you've done any kind of modifications to your 5X. If not, I'm here to help, but this video won't go into much detail with that. So that's how it works, and also it goes down into your images that you can flash if there's bigger problems with your phone. But this boot image that we're going to flash, at least at the beginning, should just get your phone back up and working and work well. What you need to download is your, it'll show you like this here, in the, go to downloads, come on down to, I have the um, Android Nougat on my phone before it started to kill. I do not have the Oreo on there, but, so this is the one I have, I do not have that August security patch, but whichever one that you have, here's your download link, you click it, it'll download. If you want to install a custom recovery at the same time, go right ahead. Here's your download link. So you, once you get that downloaded, I created a 5 Nexus 5X folder on my computer. Downloaded it here and here. Don't worry about these two folders because that's just the zip file from here, our image that I downloaded a while back because I really needed to flash everything over on my uh, device and this is that custom recovery. I'm probably gonna leave this one out of the video. I can add it at the very end if you are still interested, but for today we're gonna do this. So, according to these instructions, the first thing you wanna do after all this is taken care of, if you got everything set up, is you want to boot your phone into fast boot mode. So it's volume down and the power button. All right. And you hold on to that until you get into fast boot. Done. All right, at this moment, you can plug your USB C into your phone and you hear that? And connect it to your computer. And if you look on the phone, it's kind of small in the corner there, but it'll tell you that your device state is unlocked and all kinds of cool stuff 
at this point on the computer, in this area, in this folder here, okay, I'm going to hold the shift button down and I'm going to right click because I need to go, excuse me, let me hold the shift button down, right click, and open PowerShell Windows here. All right, some of this stuff may not work right for you unless you have the ADB tools installed on your computer. So at this moment, I need to know to make sure that my phone is connected correctly. So I'm going to type in fast boot devices. Boom. All right, it's kicked back my device. It's perfect. All right, so at this point, I am in this folder, which is this folder right here above. I'm going to type in fast boot flash boot and then your boot image let's make sure that I type that in correctly so let's go into you have to scroll up just a little bit how to apply the fix you can type in fast boot flash boot in the name of your file name of our file is this deal here I'm just gonna copy it pull up my command shell and paste it there fast boot flash boot blam all right and press enter. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. See that? This is just a. Not everybody's perfect. Fast boot. Flash boot. And paste. All right, here we go. Sending boot. Okay, writing boot. Finish. It's done. That's it. That's it. That's all you had to do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit. Uh, fast boot, reboot. All right, now take a look at the phone, and hopefully you will see it reboot completely back into its Android operating program and all that other good stuff without any kind of boot looping. Ah, look at that! Oh my God, it's alive again. Now it's going to have a few modifications to it. You could add, certainly add much more. You can put in the custom recovery so you can do a backup of what you need, whatever it is. Um, you could probably do bench tests on these from what this forum over here is talking about. I, I mean, it apparently it's doing quite well. It's a very good fix, and it works. You know, I don't know. I haven't done any bench tests, but there you go. Now it says charging. There you go. My phone, it, it's back. It's back. So, that's pretty much it. I'm, uh, I'm, I hope you're as excited as I am just to show you that simple fix. And, you know, much love to uh, this guy here, the senior member. All right. And so many others. And he has put that down here below the credits right here to all these guys they have played a big role in getting all this put together alright so at this point I'm gonna go back into PowerShell and with my phone booted up my USB debugging is turned on and it's set for file transfer I'm gonna type in ADB devices there it is there's my device ADB reboot Boop. Load dirt. Boom. So there it is. There, I'm back into my bootloader. Now I'm going to flash my recovery. So it'll be um, fast boot. Flash recovery. Now that I got it spelled right. Recovery and boop, boop. It's not corrupted. I just clicked it too fast. All right. Copy, bam, boom, and enter. Cool. You can just use your phone. Scroll to recovery mode and hit the power button. And there you go. There's your uh, 
your custom recovery. Um, so if you have a password or whatever, enter password, I'll have to look at that um, to decrypt my data and stuff. But that's it. I hope you all enjoy this video. This is Bobby Techno, and I'm pulling chalks.